If that, if the Quiet Place world is real, I wanted to throw those f***ing kids next to us into it because they would not have lived past two minutes into the f***ing movie. Anyways, that was awesome. It was really good. <laughs> I, uh, that was incredible. It was really good. I, I hate horror movies. I fucking love that movie. Yeah, see, and that would be... That one's a weird one. Like it's kind of a tweener. I would I would classify it more thriller than horror. Yeah. Um, but either way, it was very good. Yeah. It was very well acted. I thought. Yeah. Um, by everybody, and I you know it's 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 obviously it's a gimmick, right? That with the sound, mm -hmm. and that was kind of entirely what they were going for. They did a really good job with the sound design. Yeah. So yeah, I kept thinking about the entire time. Um. God, yeah, that was. I really enjoyed that. That's like, I think that's my favorite movie this year so far. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that's a little high for me, but. What else? What else? It was good. I liked more than Ready Player One. I didn't like it more than Ready Player One or Black Panther. Um, or wow. Love Simon. I mean, it's, it's not. Yeah. It's just not near my top. Um, I liked it a lot, but. <clears throat> especially compared to some of the crappy horror movies that we've, I've seen this yeah. year, uh, this was very, very good. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really interesting what they were doing, again, just with the sound design, like, when they would focus on the girl and the sound would drop yeah, off because she's deaf. she's deaf, yeah. Um, and when they would focus in on the monster and you would hear kind of how it hears mm -hmm. for a second. I thought that stuff was really cool. Yeah. And then, like, the couple times where they accidentally made some noise, mm -hmm. f I freaked out every time. <laughs> um because they, I don't know, it was weird. Like, just him knocking down, the first time when he knocks down that lantern. Mm -hmm. First of all, super loud. So it's like a bang scare. Yeah. But also, like, that time, and then the time when she stepped on the nail and, and she kind of dropped something. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> and that was, that, that, that I think is a sign that they did what they wanted. Yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, you saw the nail thing coming. Mm-hmm. But I was I was secretly hoping that the the, the monster would step on it and be like, ah! <laughs> but yeah, the I didn't feel bad when the kid got taken at the beginning because that's his own fault. He got told twice not to use that fucking thing. Yeah, and he he used the airplane. That's his fault. That's on him. I just wanted the I honestly in the the daughter. I was like, take her too. She's really annoying. She won't listen either. <laughs> yeah, she was. I had a hard time with the kids. Um, because the one was like too much of a pansy and then she was like she could have been really cool um because she's like wanting to get out there and do all the badass stuff that dad does mm -hmm. she like wants to do that and i liked that part um but she did kind of come off as annoying in a few points yeah she i think she redeemed herself at the end yeah but she was annoying the piss out of me for a mm -hmm. lot of the movie yeah there's just so many cool things and like smart like some of it there was some issues that I had like the baby being born mm -hmm. like she <laughs> she already had it like wrapped up swaddled up and it was like umbilical cord cut like none of that would have happened oh I didn't even think about that no yeah. afterbirth yeah it's like just that. all it's like she's done yep. you know <laughs> um so I was like okay I chuckled there and then um I had another point I lost it well the one the and this is way too nitpicky but there's all those newspapers and stuff mm -hmm. that say like it's sound it's sound yeah. how do they make those newspapers right with sound without making noise <laughs> yeah that but yeah like I guess those that that's my little issues it was and it was very simple in terms of like because there wasn't much dialogue and mm -hmm. stuff so like when there was dialogue it was very like simple and predictable yeah gotta keep the kids safe I love you <laughs> like that um so it wasn't it that wasn't very complex with the world around it and the way it was directed and acted. It was very good. They did a good job with the world build, definitely. There were some really cool shots in there. Um, you pointed out in the opening that Michael Bay was, his production company was kind of involved. Yeah, he produced it. I noticed a couple of shots that seemed like a little Michael Bay-ish. Yeah. Um, with kind of like a hero shot with like a glare. Yeah. There was a couple of those, and I was like, okay, Michael Bay, yeah. maybe take a step back. But in general, I thought it was shot very well. Mm 
There's a lot of really nice visuals. And has John Krasinski directed anything? This might be his first. And I know he co-wrote it with a couple other guys. Yeah. Which, if he, if this is a first directing job, keep going. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, they did an excellent job. Um, the scene where she is fixing to have the baby and she's having contractions. Yeah. And she knows that the thing is in the house. I was like this <laughs> for like that whole it was like 15 I, minutes I, too <laughs> I actually thought that when we walked out of the theater like alright yeah. my butthole got to work out there well then you get the scene you do get the scene where him and the kid are at the waterfall Yeah. and like that scene for one ha- absolutely has to be in there because everything else in the movie is so tight yeah. butthole <laughs> that you needed you needed to exhale yeah. and breathe for a little bit yeah. before getting back into it. So that was really well placed. I think it was at the perfect time too. Yeah. Um, There's just so many. This is another example of a movie where they're like the universe is really interesting, mm-hmm. but in most of the time when you say the universe is really interesting, the movie usually kind of sucks. Yeah. That's not the case here. No. Like I really like this family, mm-hmm. other than the kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. It, like the, the actual movie itself was great that it was based around but there's so much more you could explore mm-hmm. you know there's other families out there because they're starting fires on roads and stuff uh, you want to know how this all started like mm-hmm. where did these alien things come from there, it was just so interesting it was interesting to, to think about and watch yep and like like you said the sound was great the how they how they covered up things the sand you know how they walked around mm-hmm. the waterfall that waterfall scene is awesome that was really cool the fact that like even just like small little things that I noticed where when the the hole that they're staying in got flooded she mm-hmm. backed into the the waterfall you know it was it was kind of like the same thing mm-hmm. she backed into the water that's trickling down and then the alien thing didn't see her when that alien thing went under the water I was like no <laughs> I was <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts walk getting in the water. I was like, bitch, you going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I I feel like I say this a lot, but I very nearly had a panic attack when they got in that the green corn. bin. I was squirming in my in my dream lounger recliner. I saw you. I was not having a good time during that section whatsoever. Yeah, you know, I saw you start moving. I'm like, oh yeah, he's, mm-hmm. he's if this doesn't end soon, he's gonna die. That's a very real fear for me. <laughs> Uh, and a horrible, horrible way to die. Yeah, in the corn. Yep. You know what? If that corn was popping and I was in there, I would have enjoyed dying in there. Just eating all the popcorn. <laughs> um, I think Emily Blunt is incredible. Mm-hmm. What she was doing in this was so, so good. Yeah. And really all of them, beca- and John Krasinski also, and we talked about him directing, yeah. also acted very, very well. Yeah. Um, even the kids, I thought, acted well, even though they were shit, like they were written to be shitheads. They were no, you don't like the characters, but yeah. the acting was good. Yeah, I think the so my my favorite thing about this, and I was thinking about it the whole time, was until the very very end, you really don't get a whole good look at the monster. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember we talked about all of this a lot when we were getting ready to go see this because I wasn't watching the trailers because I was afraid they would chill the monster. Mm-hmm. It's so much more scary when you can't see it. Yeah, and. They did a really good job for, like, most of the movie where they would hide it, kind of. Yeah. Like, you'd see it kind of move in a shadow, or but it'd be, like, out of focus or behind something or in the dark. Yeah. And it was very... I was very afraid of that thing because I couldn't see it. Yeah. And I'm glad that they didn't show it until the right at the end. They yeah. finally, You finally got a good look at the end. But once you show that, there's no unshowing it again. And yeah. it's not scary once you've seen it. So they did a really good job of hiding it. Until the until and, the end there, and they were different too. Like they weren't all the same looking because like one of them was just straight up like head and teeth, uh-huh. and then one of them was like spread out head. <laughs> um, and it was cool because you did you know it's like the clicking. That's how they mm-hmm. that that's like the Last of Us the video game. The, uh, the clickers that that's how they find people. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of similarities there with that game. It felt like movie. a really cool amalgam of, of quite a few yeah. of these kind of things. Uh, I was thinking a lot about the Demogorgon. Mm. Off of Stranger Things. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you, you mentioned like the world around this and everything, which yes, it's cool. I'm very, very glad not to know more though. Yeah. I think part of what is so cool about it is I don't know what happened. I don't know if they're aliens. I don't know how they got <laughs> right. made. Um, and you don't you don't get to see any of the rest of the world. You don't know what any of that's like. It reminded me a lot of actually another A twenty four movie. Um, it comes at night. It's very similar. Okay. You really don't know what happened. Yeah. And I really liked that. Because it makes it very small, very contained, and everything that happens to them becomes way more meaningful. Because as far as we know, they're the only people yeah. out there. It's it's when 
when the, when the characters work and the, the story the story it's centered around works, it's great. Yep. But it's it's when like a lot of times when you have these worlds that are already built and you just get thrown in with a family or a character, mm -hmm. a lot of times it doesn't work. And I'm glad that this worked. Yeah, it worked very well here. It is on one end of this not this movie, not the movie. It. Yeah. This movie is on one end of that spectrum, uh -huh. and then Bright is on the opposite. Yeah. Because they just put you into the world without explaining anything, <laughs> and it falls apart. A lot of people even say It Comes at Night is kind of in that, too. A lot of people didn't really like that movie. See, I... It was, like, it was split. Yeah, I, I, I did enjoy that one for mm -hmm. a lot of reasons. Um, and it was very different and very creative, and that's what I think was cool about this. Yeah. It wasn't... There were jump... I mean, obviously, this movie had to have some jump scares in it, but yeah. there weren't any just gotcha... There wasn't anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, everything felt necessary. It was a tight 90 minutes. Yeah. So This movie flew. It's boom, boom, boom. There's always... It never lets you go, yeah. right? Like we're talking about. You get that one chance <laughs> to breathe, but other than that, it's yeah. tight butthole. But everything was meaningful, and that's what I like. There was yeah. no wasted no wasted motion yeah. at all. For someone who hates scary movies, and when I see them, they take a long time because I'm <laughs> hating my, my time doing it... Um, this flew by, mm -hmm. and I I really enjoyed the pacing and and just the movie movie as a whole. I, I mean, I I can't say enough how much I really like this movie. It's very very well done. I oh when he gives himself up, that that was tough. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was a little bit of cheese, but I think it was okay. Yep, and it, and it made sense the cheese because mm -hmm. he he has that conversation with his son where right. he's like, "Tell her that you love her." Mm -hmm. That, I liked that. Yeah. If it was just, if that hadn't been a thing at all and he said, I love you, then that would have been mm -hmm. like, okay, moan. Yeah. But this was, that that made sense. Um, I did enjoy too their weakness being found, the, their weakness being. That was cool. Um, being basically, A, found an accident and B, being related to that, to that girl. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when that is like the weakness or that's how you find out how to defeat them and it's related to something like that, I kind of get annoyed by it. Mm-hmm. But this one, again, made sense. Yep. Uh, because she kind of was the the catalyst for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And and John, John Krasinski is always trying to make up for what happened to his son. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's trying to, you know, he, he kept trying to improve the, the hearing aid so that he could help her survive in the world. Mm -hmm. When it turned out that was the way to solve it, you know? Yeah, and that was, it all became very necessary because it's, it's, Going in, when I realized that she was deaf, I was like, oh, really? She's deaf in a movie where you gotta be quiet? Like, blah, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it actually is very important, because mm -hmm. you have to have the hearing aid, and that totally makes sense as a weakness for mm -hmm. those. Yep. It's not like water mm -hmm. and signs. Yeah. Like, it totally make it all ties in. It all becomes very important. Let's talk about that ending, though. <laughs> With, uh... Dude! <laughs> See, that's an exa... Okay, this is exactly... It's a... It, so she shucks the shotgun, goes awesome. to credits. I was like, this bitch about to kill all of them. <laughs> um, but what I like the best about that is they don't show that. Happen. Yes. And it, it's just like we just talked about this. Everything, you, you don't get to see him get ripped apart by that monster. Yep. You don't get to see the monster kill the kid or the other guy. Yep. They, they, you know what's going to happen. Yep. And they just say, fill in the blanks yourself. Yep. I really did like that. Yeah, that was awesome. Because then, like, that, the moment, she had a little smirk on her face, and that moment she knew, like, we're, we're good, you know? She was She's in, like, we, we saved everyone, basically. Yep. In that one second, she was absolutely the character from Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, and she's even, like, dirty on her face, and so yeah. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, and so, like, so, yeah, I mean, they know, they know how to defeat all of them mm -hmm. now at this point, and it's cool because, like, thinking of... So she, they have that conversation where she's like, you have to save them, you have mm -hmm. to save them. And he does, but she now takes over that. Mm -hmm. And she is, you know, she's the one, she's the protector of them. Yep. You know, and it, it was just cool to me how like, the, even that, just that little, that little part of the movie, like the roles changing mm -hmm. and now she's like in charge, you know, that was cool. Um, it makes his dying so much more tragic. Yeah. That they, now they, you know. <laughs> right. An hour ago. Right. They could have saved him. And so the when you first realize what's going on with her hearing aid when they're in the corn. Yeah. And, but she doesn't see it. So she doesn't know. Yeah. Right? So but, so we know as the audience what the weakness is before any of them figure it out. Mm -hmm. And so when she's in the truck and she can't 
take it anymore and she turns it off yeah. and you're like oh no you just killed like, your fucking dad yeah exactly <laughs> like that immediately punched me right in the dick I was like oh god no it's gonna be her fault yeah and again. she's eventually gonna realize again yeah again <laughs> she's killing your family all the deaths in this movie. she should have died and so she's gonna eventually she's gonna realize if she hasn't yet that yep. she could have saved him yep. and that's gonna suck yeah, there's that whole time I was like, "Turn your thing on! Mm-hmm. Turn your thing on!" Yeah, I was he- definitely screaming that. Man. <laughs> but I mean, why would you? Because when it hurts that bad, you wouldn't turn mm-hmm. it on. I know I shouldn't blame her, but yeah, I want to blame her because she's an idiot. Right. <laughs> and that's why that scene is constructed so perfectly because they they give you everything ahead of time, mm-hmm. and but without having given it to her. That was, that was it, really well done. It was all just so cool, like especially her. Like I like I don't like her, but I liked her scenes mm-hmm. when she when the sound was gone and like the monsters are around her, or, you know, you kind of see what's going on. I thought I just I thought they executed that perfectly. Mm-hmm. All right. On a rare daytime viewing. <laughs> what do you think final thoughts? Uh, that was fantastic. Yeah. It was very, very good. And it's, actually, just thinking about it in the last ten minutes, it's growing on me a lot, even just as I sit and think about it it's, already. I, I, I honestly think it's my favorite movie so far this year, even considering all of, all the things you said. I'm like, I, I love this movie. Mm-hmm. I really do. And for, I'm not saying something for, again, someone who hates horror movies. Yeah. And I thought the same thing of It last year, but this is different in the way that I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it because of the, the plot and the acting and the, the story and the sound, all that. Yep. It great. was just really expertly put together. Yeah. Like every everyone was awesome. I don't think I've had that type of experience in a movie theater, just like tense, but enjoying the hell out of it. That yeah. In a long time. See, this is why I like scary movies. Because <laughs> good ones will do that for you yeah. every time. Terrible ones will just go boo a bunch of times. And, yeah. You know, probably show you some boobs or something. <laughs> but no, yeah, this is yeah. fantastic. I think, and just like you're saying, because you're not a fan of horror, I think even people who aren't fans of horror will dig this. Yeah, which is what I'm seeing because it's doing really well so far. Yeah. But, I mean, you mentioned boobs. This movie could have used some boobs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one kind. <laughs>